Welcome to this lecture where we will tackle a real world scenario of calculating monthly sales commissions for sales representatives using Pandas. We will walk through merging datasets, handling missing values, calculating commissions and exporting the final report. By the end of this session, you will have a complete workflow you can apply in similar real world scenarios. Here our goal is to analyze the sales data and calculate monthly commissions for each sales representative will process two datasets. The first one is nothing but Toyota sales data.csv. The second one is nothing but sales reps data.csv. As you already know, Toyota sales data.csv contains details of sales transactions including sale amounts, commission percentages and dates. When it comes to sales reps data.csv, it contains sales rep details such as their names and regions. Here we'll clean, transform and export the final results as a report to share with stakeholders. Let's start by loading the datasets into Pandas data frames and previewing their structure. For that purpose, we should be able to run these three cells. You can see the outcome as per the expectations. Next, we'll merge the two datasets to combine sales transaction details with the sales rep information. We'll use the sales rep ID from the sales data and rep ID from the sales reps data. We should be able to say pd.merge then in brackets Toyota sales data, this will be the second one. The first one is nothing but sales reps data followed by Toyota sales data, then left on equal to rep ID, right on equal to sale rep ID, how equal to inner Let's run this and see the outcome. You can see the outcome as per the expectations. We should be able to scroll towards right and see all the fields. However, when it comes to commission percentage, it have NAs. We should be able to say dot fill NA commission percentage colon zero. Let's run this and then let's review the outcome commission percentages are transformed to zeros here. Now we should be able to compute the commission amount and also we should be able to compute sale month because when it comes to this data we have the sale date not the month hence we will be computing sale month using the sale date and then we will take it forward. So here to compute commission and we should be able to say dot assign then commission and equal to lambda x round of x sale amount multiplied by commission percentage here it is nothing but x commission percentage now let's run this let's make sure we review the output you can see the outcome as per the expectations we have commission amount or commission end without any issues here we also wanted to compute sale month again we can say assign then sale month equal to lambda x pd dot two underscore date time x of sale underscore date then uh, we have to use functions to compute the month. Let me make sure I get it right. Here we have to say dot dt dot two underscore period of m. Uh, I didn't line break. That's why it is complaining. Now let's run this. However, it is saying uh, date time property subject has no attribute to underscore period. There is a typo here. I need to fix the typo. Now let me run this. You can see the outcome. Let's make sure we scroll towards right and look at the month details. You can see the month in the form of four digit year followed by hyphen followed by two digit month. So the month is also computed as per the expectations. Here as we have data related to only one month, we don't need to actually do this. But in case if you have data related to multiple months, you should be able to do this so that you can compute the commission earned by each sales rep every month. That being said, 
as we are able to assign these two attributes commission and and sale amount as per the requirement now we have to take it further here we need to make sure we group the data and aggregate the data for that purpose i should be able to say group by in this case we have to group using all the fields which you wanted to see if finally here i would like to group by sale month followed by rep id rep id will come from sales reps data on top of it i also wanted to have first name last name let's see what other columns we have in sales reps data we have email we want to broadcast the information to sales reps hence i would like to include email also after grouping uh, based on all these fields now i wanted to perform the aggregation for that purpose i can say yag then total sales equal to sale amount we wanted to use sum here let's say sum then total commission equal to commission and this is also sum now we should be able to run this it should work without any challenges let's see uh, however it is saying no access named rep id for object type data frame so in this case rep id is not there let me first cut these things let me make sure i run this let me see if rep id is there or not rep id is there hence it should work sale month rep id first name last name email probably the way i am using ag is little bit misleading let me also include reset index so that it returns data frame at the end however i think uh, there is some issue with respect to calling ag function let me see what is going wrong here yeah the problem is i should be passing all these column names as list and that's why it is not working if it is one column we don't need to pass it as list if you have more than one columns in group by we have to pass all the columns as list now it should work even this is highlighted appropriately earlier it is white which means it is not recognized as a valid function as there is syntax error when it comes to group by now let's run this you can see the outcome for each sales rep we are able to compute the total commission out of 22 sales reps two of them are not active and there are no transactions associated with them hence we will not be able to see any details here because we have performed inner join for all those sales reps where there are sales you can find the total commission here the final outcome contain 20 rows or 20 records because we have 20 sales reps who have earned sales commission for the month of 2024 november yeah we are ready with our final outcome we'll export the summarized data as a csv file to share with the stakeholders or use in reports and dashboards keep in mind even though we are exporting to csv pandas is robust enough to export to any of the standard file formats such as parquet excel so and so forth even we can use pandas to actually export the data into database tables directly that being said here we'll actually export the final data into a csv file first let me assign this to a variable the variable name is nothing but monthly summary now this is run let's preview the data in monthly summary you can see the outcome as per the expectations yeah this is of type data frame we should be able to use to underscore csv and specify the path i'll be saying data slash car underscore sales let's make sure we have this folder structure you can see data you can see car underscore sales in this folder let me specify the file name as monthly sales commission dot csv i don't want to see the index index is nothing but this one i don't want to see this index in the csv files hence let me say index equal to false now let me run this it have ran as per the expectations we should be able to navigate to data car sales here you can see monthly sales commission dot csv you can see the outcome as per the expectations we have sale month rep id first name last name email total sales and also total commission now we can review this report and uh, issue the commission to the sales folks who actually get sales for the organization 
That being said, the exported CSV file provides a clear summary of monthly sales performance for each sales representative. You can take the decision based on the requirement for which you have generated this report. Once again, I'm reiterating this uh, file includes total sales and commissions grouped by month and rep. Even though we are seeing only for one month 2024 number, if our original CSV files have data for multiple months, we should be able to see the data for all the months. That being said, let's make sure we recap and also highlight the best practices which you are supposed to follow for real world scenarios like this. When it comes to the steps, we merged the data from multiple sources. You can see here. The data between sales reps and Toyota sales is merged. Then we have handled missing values for clean processing. This is where we have handled missed values for clean processing. Then we have added calculated fields like commission earned and extracted sale amount. This is commission earned, this is sale amount. Then we have grouped and aggregated data to calculate performance metrics. You can see we have used all these fields which you wanted to see in the final outcome and then we have performed aggregations such as total sales and total commission. The outcome is assigned to monthly summary which is of type data frame. We have exported results in the data frame into a CSV. This is how we took care of exporting the data frame into CSV. Here we have used chained approach. You can also break this down into multiple code snippets and take it forward. Let's also highlight best practices. Make sure you handle missing data upfront to avoid errors in calculations. Also use calculated columns for derived metrics. Always inspect exported files for accuracy. We have actually uh, reviewed the data in exported file. As per our review, we can confirm that exported CSV file have the data as per the expectations. That's it for this lecture and also for this section. We have covered a lot of important concepts in this section or module. Now it is time for us to get into exploratory data analysis. I'll be covering exploratory data analysis in series of lectures in the next section or module.